Hi, and welcome back to Ivy English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is October thirteenth, and we have an article for you today about some very, very old findings. 嗯，今天我们要谈的是一些发现蛮古老的一些东西。Our title is the discovery of ancient Assyrian rock reliefs. 中文的标题是“千年雅树浮雕重现人间”。他们大松一口气吗？好，这个 relief 不是松一口气的意思啊。<笑>这个 relief 在这里指的是浮雕的意思。Exactly. And Assyrian, where is that? What does it refer to? 啊，就是我们讲的亚述，这个亚述王国或者亚述人。It's one of the earlier civilizations in our history. 嗯哼，啊，它是这个非常古老的一个文明。Okay, here we go. Throughout its history, the Middle Eastern country of Iraq has faced numerous challenges. None more formidable than repeated military conflict. In 2022, an archaeological discovery revealed the legacy left behind by the ancient Assyrian Empire, which existed from 900 BCE to 600 BCE and ruled over the northern part of today's Iraq. Specifically, archaeologists working in the city of Nineveh, the ancient capital of the Assyrian Empire. Unearthed rock reliefs thought to be thousands of years old during a project to reconstruct the Mashki Gate. The Mashki Gate was constructed around 700 BCE by order of Assyrian king Sennacherib, who intended the gate to serve as a guarded entrance to Nineveh. The gate was destroyed in 2016 by the militant group ISIS during their occupation of Iraq. The stunning ancient reliefs found on the Mashki Gate provide us with a picture of Iraq's history, depicting archers and other soldiers engaged in military campaigns. It is not yet clear which historical events are being portrayed because further research is needed. Nonetheless, these works of art appear to showcase the might and strength of the Assyrian Empire at the peak of its power. In many such instances of ancient cultural treasures being discovered, they are often sold to museums in the Western world. However, on this occasion, it was decided that the artworks would remain in Iraq, a decision which shows that Iraq now recognizes the importance of its cultural legacy. Regarding the significance of the reliefs themselves, they provide insight into not only the political and military activity of ancient Assyria, but also its artistic heritage. In this way, they enable modern audiences to appreciate the genius of those who lived thousands of years ago. Finally, for the Iraqi people, this discovery provides a sense of pride and hope for a brighter future. Now, one thing that kind of struck me when I was reading this was the time period. It says around 700 BCE. That's exactly the period of the Zuo Zhuan, which I'm reading now. <laughs> so I had this feeling of connection because. I'm reading about what happened in China during this period. 嗯，所以这个文章提到说，大概这个公元前七百年，那是讲到这些亚述文明啊。但是这 Karen 老师他最近在读《左传》，《左传》差不多也就是这个时代，那个春秋时代，哎，春秋时代，所以很有趣哈、啊。就你看到同一个时间啊，中国在发生什么事情，然后呢，看到啊，这个亚述当年在发生什么事情。For example, the gate to the city. When we read about this. We kind of wonder why do they have a wall around the city? You know, our modern cities generally do not have walls, and、mm. we don't feel that we need them, even if the crime rate sometimes is a problem. But in ancient China, as well as other countries of this period, people generally built a wall around the city, and then there was a big gate which would be closed at night because they had to return by a certain hour. If it was after that hour, you couldn't get in. And that was true in many places, and it was even a verb in Chinese. So in Chinese, you have the verb "cheng," "cheng shi" or "cheng,"、mm -hmm. and that refers to the wall. And、mm. it's, it's we call it a city now, but "cheng" really is a wall. It was used as a verb. So when you say "cheng" in or "cheng zhi," whatever it is, they built a wall around it、mm -hmm. because that was their way of establishing this area as belonging to this group of people, and they're the ones I have control over. 好，所以呢，现代的都市大概很少有城墙的啊，但是在那个年代呢，会有城墙。城墙主要当然是为了保护这个它城里面的人民啊，还有这个杜绝外患等等的。而且这个城墙晚上固定时间它会关门的，所以你如果说出去玩太晚了没回来，你就进不了城了。所以这个那个是跟现在是很不一样。那当然，这个城门或者城墙都是有守卫的。That's right. So when you see these 门什么南门这个门那个门。Yeah. 
Think about that at the time. In order to establish political control over a place, you built a wall around it.、Mm-hmm. So if people go and conquer some other village or some other area, that's the first thing they do is they build a wall. This is mine. Hmm. Yeah. So this, we now see this. What? Uh, like Taipei, and what? North Mountain, North Mountain. Ah, these walls. 当年都是城墙的城门啊，那你可以看到当初的人他们怎么样去划定他们的疆界哈，怎么样把这个城门城墙盖起来，告诉人家说这个地方是一个行政单位，一个属地。That's right. Okay, so our title: the discovery of ancient Assyrian rock reliefs. So that means they have dug these up and found these wonderful reliefs, and often they they exhibit a very high level of artistry. 嗯，好，所以这个石头的浮雕。常常上面是这个有很高的艺术价值，尤其石头它保存时间比较久一点，所以我们常常可以看到一些古代的一些石雕。Okay, so back to the beginning. Throughout its history, the Middle Eastern country of Iraq has faced numerous challenges, none more formidable than repeated military conflict. Now I'm working on my French now, so when I see that word, it just looks so French to me because in French you can say if something is very schön, hein, bang, it's formidable.、Mm. So when I see it, I usually think of the French first, but in English it's formidable or formidable, 都可以。嗯哼，好，所以 throughout its history 就是在它的历史，从它历史有史以来的意思。那 its 就指后面这个 Iraq 的意思。所以在它有史以来呢。中东国家伊拉克，它怎么样 ？Has faced 它面临的 numerous 很多的 challenges， 很多的挑战。None more formidable， 就是没有一个挑战更加的比这个底下要讲的更加的 formidable， 就是令人畏惧的 formidable。那所以呢，没有一个挑战比以下要讲的这个更令人感到畏惧。所以哪一个挑战让人觉得这么畏惧呢？就是 repeated。Military conflict. That repeated 就是一再重演的，一再出现的。那 military 就是军事上面的 conflict， 就是冲突。That's why it again made me think of China, because when you're reading Zuo Zuan about the Qingzhou period, it's just constant wars. People had these egos, and they wanted to 争霸 They wanted to be the ruler over the area because. The other thing that happened in addition to wars was peace treaties,、mm-hmm. and they're always talking about all these people, all these Zhu Hou Guo, the 那个领袖 They would meet in a place and they would write a peace treaty. They'd find somebody whose Chinese was really good. They'd write the peace treaty, and everybody would sign it. Now you think that's just signing a paper? What's the big deal? The thing is, if you are the head of the Zhu Hou Guo. You can collect taxes from everybody, and that's、mm. one reason they wanted it. It was about money. Yeah, 好，所以为什么会一直打仗呢？这当年春秋战国时代也是一样，一直打仗。那其实当然是为了国家的疆界。那国家疆界有什么用呢？你国家疆界越多，人民越多，你就可以收更多的税。所以这跟国力、跟财富都有关系的。And in addition, in China now, when they are unearthing a lot of the objects of this period, they are finding a lot of these peace treaties. 那刚刚这 Karen 老师讲到这个，以前打仗打一打，当然就要签一些条约，签个合约。那现在这个，其实在中国出土很多很多这种以前当初签的这种条约。And so that is proving this history is real. It, it wasn't made up. Yeah， 所以就可以证实这些历史都是真的，当初并没有人杜撰这些历史出来。In 2022, an archaeological discovery. Revealed the legacy left behind by the ancient Assyrian Empire, which existed from 900 BCE to 600 BCE and ruled over the northern part of today's Iraq. The first time I read it, I said 2022. This time I said 2022. Both are fine. I think 2022 is more common because it's easier. Hmm. 好，所以二零二二啊，这个你可以念 2022， 也可以念 2022。好，那好像 twenty twenty two 比较常见，因为感觉起来好像比较容易念，比较容易 process。好，所以在2022年呢，有一个考古的发现 ，archaeological discovery revealed， 它揭露了，让我们看到了 the legacy， 就是一个遗产。那 left behind by 由谁所留下的遗产呢？由这个古代的亚述帝国所留下的这个遗产。那亚述帝国，古时候亚亚述帝国呢，它怎么样 ？Which existed from 它是从西元前九百年到西元前六百年，它是存在的，它存在于这个时候。那它 ruled over the northern part of 它统治的今天的伊拉克的北边。那 rule 这个字呢，它可以是及物，可以是不及物。如果是及物的话，这主要是跟搭配有关系。及物的话，后面常常接着一个 kingdom， 这个王国 rule the kingdom。那如果是一个地区的话。常常就会加一个 over， 好像在这里，它就 rule over 这个地区。
specifically archaeologists working in the city of Nineveh, the ancient capital of the Assyrian Empire, unearthed rock reliefs thought to be thousands of years old during a project to reconstruct the Mashki Gate. Now, I have a kind of emotional reaction when I see the word Nineveh. If you are a Christian or if you've studied the Bible, you may be familiar with this city. And when I see city names like this, I think those are the heathens. Heathens are the people who were not Jewish. And I always think of those as evil people because that was my education. I went to a Christian school. So Nineveh calls up for me images of studying the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. 好，那刚刚讲的 heathens 就是我们讲的异教徒，它的拼法是 h e a t h e n heathens， and that's used by Jewish people. So people who are not Jewish are called heathens, and it 有一点贬义 means you know you don't believe in the right thing.、Mm-hmm. There is a 就口语里面有个字 it's not very polite, but you hear it especially among Jewish people. He's a goy. A goy is a non-Jew. Usually,、oh. it's a white person, but doesn't have to be. If you're just a non-Jew, you can be called a goy, and the plural is goyim. 加一个这个就是 i 变 y g o y i m goyim 是所有的，那是复数。Mm-hmm. People who are not Jews, it is different for for Muslims. They call you an infidel.、Mm-hmm. Infidel is somebody who does not believe. Somebody who doesn't believe in the true religion, which is Islam. 啊、哦，所以这个异教徒就叫 infidel。那这个犹太人他们称异教徒称为 heathens。And infidel is spelled I N F I D E L I N F I D E L。Heathen is spelled H E A T H E N H E A T H E N。Heathen infidel。嗯哼，好，那我们看看这个句子。他说 specifically 就是具体来说，这些考古学家呢。那这在哪里工作呢？后面一个 working in 什么什么是修饰的考古考古学家？这些考古学家是在这个 Nineveh 这个地方，这个城市啊、yeah. ，Nineveh 这个地方城，这个在这个城市工作啊。那这个地方是哪里呢？它就是古代的这个亚述帝国的首都。那在这个地方工作的这些考古学家呢？啊，这一句话主动词是 unearth， 就是挖出来、挖掘出 rock reliefs， 就是这个。石头的浮雕，那 thought to be 这个东西也是修饰那个这些石头浮雕。thought to be 就是被认为是 thousands of years old 啊，这些浮雕被认为是数千年的的历史，就已经好几千岁的这个浮雕了。那在什么时候发现呢？在什么挖出来呢？它是在一个 a project， 它是一个计划，要 reconstruct， 要重建。好 ，the Mashki Gate 这个地方，这个它要重建这个城门。The Mashki Gate was constructed around 700 BC by order of Assyrian king Sennacherib, who intended the gate to serve as a guarded entrance to Nineveh. 好，那这个这个 gate 它是 was constructed， 它是被建造，大概是七元前七百年的时候 ，by order of 就是谁的命令，借由谁的命令要建造这个城，那借由这个亚述王 Sennacherib。这位国王的命令要建造这个城门。那 who 就指这一位国王呢 ？Intended 就他想要 the gate， 他想要让这个门 to 怎么样呢 ？Serve as 他想要让这个门当做一个 a guarded entrance， 一个有守卫的入口，就要进入这个城市一个有守卫的入口。所以他盖了这么一个城门。These gates were really important in military history. In Chinese, we mentioned that cheng means to build a wall, right?、Mm-hmm. But the word men. Can also be used as a verb, and it has two possible meanings. The first one is to enter, so they entered through the gate, and that is men. And men can also mean to surround and attack a city wall at the gate. Ah,、哦、所以这个蛮有趣的，我以前也不知道哈。这个门它可以当动词，以前呐、啊，古时候哈，这个两个意思，一个意思就进入城门，当没问题。第二个就是门其实也可以当动词，表示包围而且攻击这个城门，所以蛮有趣的。The gate was destroyed in 2016 by the militant group ISIS during their occupation of Iraq. 好，那这个城门原来的城门呢？这西元前七百年盖的这个城门呢 ，was destroyed， 被摧毁了，是在二零一六年。由谁摧毁的呢？由这个好战团体 the militant group. Yeah, and I think it's easy to mix that up with military, which means 军事 Militant means that you are using military methods to try and achieve your goals. 就是好战的，就是这样一个团体。那 ISIS， 那是在他们占领伊拉克期间啊，他们大到处破坏古迹啊，所以把也把这个城门破坏掉了。The stunning ancient reliefs found on the Mashki Gate provide us with a picture of Iraq's history 
depicting archers and other soldiers engaged in military campaigns. 好 ，stunning 就是很迷人的，很让人惊艳的这样的一个古代的这些石浮雕。那这些浮雕是 found on the Moschi Gate， 在这个城门上所发现的这些浮雕 ，provide us with 就提供给我们什么东西哈，所以 provide somebody with something， 提供给我们一个 picture， 就是一个图像 of Iraq's history， 就让我们可以看一看这个具体的看到伊拉克的历史这样的一个图像，因为它怎么样呢？用一个分词继续修饰，它 depicting， 它描述了 archers 就是弓箭手，还有其他的一些 soldiers 一些士兵。Engage in military campaigns. 就他们正在从事军事作战 Campaign 就是战斗的意思。所以他画他这个雕的就是一些正在战斗中的一些这个弓箭手还有士兵。So when I read things like this about the Middle East, I think this is just so similar to what I've read about China. So the level of war technology sounds like it was about the same. 所以当时的这个中国的战争的一些技术啊，或者是用具啊等等的哈，这个。战争科技的进步程度大概跟当时的亚述王国其实是差不多。差不多的。嗯哼。It is not yet clear which historical events are being portrayed because further research is needed. 好，所以这件事情还并不是很清楚。It is not yet clear. 什么事情并不清楚呢 ？Which historical events? 哪些历史上的事件 are being portrayed? 被他描述。Portray 也是描述的意思。所以我们不知道他画的是什么样的历史事件，是哪一个事件？为什么呢？因为 further research is needed. 因为还需要进一步的研究才能确定。They need to check the Zuo Zhuan, the, you know, their equivalent of the Zuo Zhuan, to find out. Yeah. Nonetheless, these works of art appear to showcase the might and strength of the Assyrian Empire at the peak of its power. 但是不管怎么说，然而这些 works of art， 这些艺术作品呢 ，appear to 似乎是 showcase 就展示了 the might and strength. Ah,、uh, might. 跟 strength 都是力量，这个 might 它可能包围它可能比较强大的力量，它的范围可能也比较广啊，那可能也比较抽象。And there is an expression that's worth learning: might makes right. 就是你有力量的人就是对的，呀、yeah, ，这个是没错哈。那我们刚刚讲到 might 是这样，那 strength 的话呢是比较讲 physical power， 所以是比较讲这个具体一点的力量。所以这两个字也常常放在一起用了，就表示他们的这个国力的意思。所以这个展示的。亚述帝国 at the peak of its power， 就当它国力巅峰的时候，它的力量有多大？就把这些东西调给你看。In many such instances of ancient cultural treasures being discovered, they are often sold to museums in the Western world. 好，那在很多 such 就这一类的这样的一些例子，什么例子呢？就是古代的这些文化的财富或者这个瑰宝文化瑰宝被发现的时候呢 ，being discovered， 当他们被发现的时候。很多例子，结果都是怎么样呢？都是 they are often sold to museums. 他们常常都卖给一些这个博物馆哈。In the Western world， 在西方世界的一些博物馆。然后以前啊，挖到这种东西，大概都卖给西方的世界博物馆，因为他们可以出高价。那这些地方的人可能也需要钱，所以好吧，反正这个他卖了就算了。Yeah. Yeah, it means they didn't care that much about it,、mm-hmm. or they cared more about money. But、yeah. I guess when you really need money, you're not going to care about stuff like this. Yeah, 真的需要钱的时候没办法，这个你先拿到钱才比较重要的时候。However, on this occasion, it was decided that the artworks would remain in Iraq. A decision which shows that Iraq now recognizes the importance of its cultural legacy. 好，但是呢 ，on this occasion 就是这一次的意思，在这个场合这一次 ，it was decided that 这很有趣啊，就是它。被决定的，所以谁决定的他没有讲啊，也不用跟你讲，反正是决定的。但是就告诉你说他是被决定的，决定怎么样？决定说这个这些艺术品呢会留在伊拉克。然后呢，同位语告诉你这是个 decision which shows， 它会显示出伊拉克现在 recognizes， 他已经认认清了 the importance of its cultural legacy， 认清了它的文化传承的这个重要性。Regarding the significance of the reliefs themselves, they provide insight into not only the political and military activity of ancient Assyria, but also its artistic heritage. 好，那 regarding 关于 the significance 重要性 of the reliefs 这些浮雕的重要性，就 themselves 就本身关于这些浮雕本身的重要性呢？ They provide 这些浮雕，他们提供的 insight 一些可以让你深入的了解，了解什么呢 ？Insight into 
Not only 不只是可以让你深入了解 the political and military activity of ancient Assyria， 不但让你知道古代的亚述帝国他们的政治活动，还有军事活动 ，but also 它也让你了解它的 artistic， 它的艺术方面的 heritage。Heritage 也是传承，它它跟这个 Legacy 的差别啊，这个我们杂志上面有讲，但是基本上其实我觉得是方向的不同。Legacy 讲的是一个人或这个事情，它对后代所产生的影响，它比较强调是影响。那 Heritage 比较强调是你接下来的，你遗传到的这些东西，而且 Heritage 常常跟你的 Identity、跟你的 Cultural 会很有关系。That's、yeah. right. And in English, we have the expression "heritage speakers." That means that, for example, if you're teaching Chinese in the U.S.,、mm-hmm. you'll get a bunch of just regular Americans, white and black and Hispanic, but you may get some children of East Asians,、mm. and maybe they heard Chinese spoken at home,、mm-hmm. so they've got an advantage over the other people.、Mm-hmm. But their Chinese is not perfect. We、mm-hmm. call those heritage speakers. Oh, heritage speakers. Ah,、yeah. oh, 就是可能你是因为你家庭的关系，你对这个语言有点认识，但是你可能也并不是说你比别人完全不懂这个语言的人好，可是也不是那么棒。Yeah, yeah.、Oh, usually, that's usually, 通常 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. In this way, they enable modern audiences to appreciate the genius of those who lived thousands of years ago. 好，那这样子呢，他们就 enable 可以使得怎么样？这个现代的观众。可以 appreciate， 可以去欣赏 the genius 才华 of those who lived thousands of years ago， 那些生活在数千年前的人他们的艺术才华。Right， and remember， ago is not stress， thousands of years ago。Finally， for the Iraqi people， this discovery provides a sense of pride and hope for a brighter future。好，那最后呢，对于伊拉克的人民来讲，这个发现它提供。他们一个 a sense of pride， 因为他们可以觉得很骄傲。你看，我们的祖先几千年前就雕这么漂亮的浮雕了，那也给他们怎么样 ？Hope for a brighter future， 也让他们对于未来会有更明亮的感觉，就他们会觉得啊，我们未来会更好那种感觉。I'm just having this feeling whenever I read old Chinese books is you feel a connection to these people a long time ago, and they always had in mind that they wanted to leave their stories for the future, and we are that future. Yeah, They were writing for us. So, very interesting. Ah, you like reading Zhuo Zhuan this kind of thing, you will feel that this writer is actually writing for the future, and we are the future. Yeah. And people would die in order to write the truth. For example, if somebody did something terrible, they wrote it down, and that person would die. 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 That person 以前的人也会因为写出了事实，然后就受到杀身之祸，甚至于可能他的子孙如果继续写，也会受到杀身之祸。不过只要写的人够多，就会事情传出去了，那杀人就没有用了。所以这时候这件事情就留下来了。That's an example of how you really should treasure what has come down to us， 真的很不容易。Yeah， 所以我们要对这些留下来给我们的东西，我们要好好的珍惜。We have a few questions. Number one, what does the author say about Iraq？ 好，第一题。作者说的关于伊拉克什么事情呢 ？The answer is C. Wars are among the greatest obstacles it has encountered. 好，所以答案是 C. 战争是该国遭遇的最大挑战之一。Two. According to the passage, which of the following about the Mashki Gate is true? 根据本文下列关于城门的叙述，何者正确 ？The answer is A. It was constructed more than two thousand years ago. 答案是 A. 它建造于两千多年前。Number three, the following people are describing different ancient artworks. Who is talking about reliefs on the Mashki Gate? 好，以下的人在形容不同的古艺术品。那是谁正在谈这个马士基门上的这一个浮雕呢 ？The answer is C. Todd. They offer an understanding of the art, politics, and military of ancient Assyria. 答案是 C， 是 Todd， 因为他说他们提供了对于古亚述帝国的艺术、政治和军事的了解。Number four. What is the author's attitude toward Iraq's decision to keep the carvings? 好，他说作者问说作者对伊拉克决定保留这些雕刻的态度如何 ？The answer is D. Approving. 答案是 D. 是赞同的。So my advice for today is read a lot of the old books of your own culture. It is so enriching. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. 